What's up, YouTube? All right, so I have not put on any of the end connectors. These guys down here because I was waiting to see if I could get more of these fuses right here. And these are 100 amp fuses, and I was gonna maybe put these in between each pack. I, I don't know when I'm gonna get more of these because I'm, you know, I'm getting them from my recycler and they're free. So I don't know when I can get them. I do have 14 of these, but I don't really wanna, I kinda wanna put one per each lug here, but so I need 14 more. So I'm not gonna use these at the moment and if I get more in the future then I may add a fuse in between each pack so that's pretty much why I haven't done anything with the ends yet I'm tired of waiting so I'm just gonna put on the regular Anderson plug all right so that's what I got I have 14 sets here so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put two reds on each side and two blacks on each side and it's pretty easy. You can just stick a screwdriver down in here to push down on the little metal thing that holds them in place. And they just pop right out. And you just reinsert it. Like that. That's what I'm going to put on each end. wrong with this one. This one had a different type of connector in there. I'm gonna have to go look in my pile over there for another one. Huh, interesting. All right, now that I have all those switched over, I'm probably just gonna cut each one of these so it has a six inch piece of wire hanging off there. I think that sounds good, or at least six inches total, with including that. Probably could have left all these out. Motherfucker. Probably could have left all of these out before I did all this, but... Jesus. Bells ringing. Chargers ringing. Phones ringing. These are grapple. Alright, well, I just figured out some of these are 10 gauge and some are 12, so I'm gonna go see if I have more that are the 10 gauge. Crap, poopy. Luckily, it was only fucking motherfucker. Alright, luckily, it was only uh, two wires, one red and one black, that were the 12 gauge. So I found another one that has a uh, 10 gauge in it, so I'll just take these. There we go. Problem solved. the very end batteries that are gonna connect to my APC UPS system. They are a blue terminal. So the internal part is the same. I just have to put a blue one on the end, I think. Now that I have all of these cut up, I need to make some terminals to put on the batteries themselves. And since I don't have any 10 gauge ones, I'm going to move these out of the way. So I bought this uh, actually a couple of years ago. I planned on using it for my refrigerator, to, for the ice machine, and I never got around to it. And since I like to make everything a little harder, I'm just gonna make a whole bunch of butt connectors out of this and then put them on the batteries. And I figure a one inch butt connector should do. All right, so I have about 20 or so marks on here. I'm just gonna cut them off real quick.
now that I have all of the butt connectors made, so what I'll think I'll do is leave at least a half inch on here and that way I can slide these on and then I'll cut a half inch of the insulation off and then they can fit right inside there. I think that's what I'll do. Cut that off, leave a half inch there. So once they're on, they'll look pretty much like that. But I'll have it crimped and I am gonna solder them all and then heat shrink over it. Okay, so one other thing with these little butt connectors that I just made is um, since I use the pipe cutter thingy, it doesn't wanna fit on here very well because it's kind of curved in. All right, I have all of those all cleaned up on the inside, so now they all fit on there nice and easy. And I think next I'm gonna pre-tin these real quick. I'm just gonna set them in the vise over here. And I'm also gonna put some uh, flux on these as well. All right, I'm gonna turn on the solder fume extractor so you probably won't hear anything. All right, well, these are just a little bit bigger in size to fit on here, so they're kind of loose. So I'm gonna wrap these ends with some copper wire. I guess that's the only thing I can do. And I'm just gonna use the wire I used on the negative side of my batteries to kind of beef this up a little bit. And it's probably not ideal, but that's what I'm gonna do. This time, of course, since it's the first time, it's a little trial and error, and I made these just a little too thick. I did barely just get this one on, so I'm probably gonna have to heat this one up to loosen the solder up so I can slide the next one on it. Gotta learn somehow, right? I do have these nasty old clamp thingies here. Clamp it down a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some solder on these as well. bad I guess it did kind of wick into the the wires a little bit so they're a little stiffer this I don't know three quarters half inch area right there but I guess I can't really get away from that unless I do crimping only but my crimper is not very awesome
Son of a bitch. I just fucking broke some fuses doing that. Some of my bitch. Damn it. Good thing I have about 800 more. All better. Okay, so I have queso. I'm gonna have to do the red uh, heat shrink when that shows up because I ran out or I just don't have any that's the right size. So I found some on Amazon and ordered that. That should be here, I don't know. I don't have Prime. Well, anyway, I ordered some. It should be here in the next couple of days. I made a whole bunch of homemade butt connectors. I don't really have a proper like crimper. All I have is this thing. And I mean, it works. It worked fine, I guess. It's um, this was the wife's grandpa's. He worked for Bell Systems back in the day, putting up telephone lines or something. And then I think he used this. I mean, it's it's pretty heavy duty. It's actually really heavy duty. It's kind of even tough to do that. So yeah, I don't have a proper crimper. I guess I'll have to see what's out there, but I mean, this is working out pretty good. Those crimps, they looked pretty good, didn't they? I mean, I thought so. So I will continue with the rest of them and hopefully they'll be done here in the next couple of days and then I'll make something so they can all be paralleled together so they can all say hi hi and be friendly with each other you know all their aunts and uncles and cousins brothers moms other brothers moms they can all get along with each other I do have eight of them done right now so I'll, I'll um, show you what I have real quick before I go. Okay, so these are the packs that I have done so far. Five and six, nine and 10, 11, 12, and 13 and 14 are all Anderson connectored up minus the red uh, heat shrink that needs to go on there and that should be here any day now, I hope. And then I'll get the rest of them done here in the next day or two and then I'll try to make like a, with some other connectors I have. I'll try to make one that they can all kind of balance with each other with a little string of wire or something. I don't know. I'll, I'll make something up as I go like I usually do. So yeah, this is my next update and hopefully I will see some of you guys during the live streams. I hope you join us because we're going to try to give away a couple things per live stream. All Powerwall related. So we got the five days, five streams, half as good as Peter and hopefully we'll see you there. All right, we'll see you in the next one. Um, but, but, that, um, I feel like I could have left all these out, motherfucker, uh, the, so I have about, Jesus, dude, quit bugging me, and, so, okay, I'm gonna lean them down, cause I don't want the soccer, I don't want the soccer, so, yeah, uh, son of a bitch, I'm trying to make a fucking video, why don't you let go, fucking video, motherfucker, fucking motherfucker, Son of a bitch. Fuck. Can't even fucking talk right now. Um, uh, um, be on the, I'm proper crimp and